All right, Division Four. We are on page 22 of the Canada's Founding People, and the First Peoples is the unit that we're doing right now, and where we've come for, um, from, how introducing them, and where they've come from, and now Aboriginal Peoples today. And um, I'll say first, this, this text is a little dated, so um, things have changed quite a bit since, but at the same time, it still gives you an idea. So it says Aboriginal Peoples are still an important part of society. Not just any society, but Canadian society. And we know that. And like I said, we, to this day, we hold them with um, a lot of respect. Of, and we acknowledge their their land um, at the beginning of assemblies and, of course, for a shirt day and lots of things like that. Uh, there are over 800,000 First Nations, Inuit and Métis. So there's the three, the three main First Peoples. Okay, living in communities across Canada. Aboriginal peoples make con contributions to every walk of life. We know that. Um, in 1993, Kim, John Kim Bell, a famous Mohawk conductor and composer, set up the National Aboriginal Achievement Awards. That's kind of neat. So something that um, encourages youth to do, um, to make good choices and to, to strive to the next level. This annual ceremony honors the achievements of Aboriginal peoples in many fields, including the medicine, the arts, and business. For instance, in 1997, a Métis doctor, Martin McLaughlin of Vancouver, received an award for his contribution to medicine. So let's think about how often you see evidence of Aboriginal people's contributions to our society, right? Whether we see it in art, whether we see it in, in fashion or in foods. Uh, last year, we, um, in Division 4, we, with Miss uh, Smilev, we actually made bannock, which is um, Aboriginal bread. Um, and we had jams and stuff. It was quite delicious. Um, that's something you can do at home right now with ADST. Uh, this, of course, is a picture of a singer. Her name is uh, Susan Egglukark, and she's an Inuit singer. Um, and she, her songs are in English and in Nanatatat, one of those words that are fun to say, and which is, of course, the language of the Inuit. Nanatatat. Um, you can Google her or YouTube her, and she has lots of videos. She is Canadian, and she's quite talented. Um, and it's interesting because some of the, the songs that she has are very current or pop and others are more cultural. So you can get a good sense of that. All right. Until next time.